हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बी पी एस सिलीगुड़ी ऑनलाइन क्लास माई नेम इज जय कर्मकार एंड आई एम योर जोग्राफी टीचर सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज मोशन ऑफ द अर्थ सो अर्थ हैज टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन वन इज rotation and another one is revolution so before we start this chapter i will show you two videos of rotation and revolution which will help you to understand the concept so first video is related to rotation and second video is related to revolution so what is rotation when an object rotates on its axis that is called rotation and when an object revolve around any other object that is called revolution so suppose this pen this pen is rotating like this so this is the rotation and when this pen is revolving around this red pen that is the revolution of this blue pen so we will learn various things related to rotation and revolution in this chapter so what you are going to learn in this chapter let's discuss once first is rotation what is rotation movement of the earth on its axis is called rotation now what happens because of the rotation because of the rotation day and night causes while the earth is rotating the portion which facing the sun experience day time whereas the opposite part of that portion experiences night time so that's why we have day and night and all the parts of the earth are not having day and night at the same time then another effect of rotation of the earth is tidal force then uh, the shape of the earth is jet that is top and the bottom of the earth is little bit flattened whereas the middle or central part is blogging it because of the rotation of the earth and the another effect of rotation of the earth is movement of ocean currents so these are the effects of rotation which we are going to learn uh, in this chapter next we are going to learn about the revolution so what is revolution when the earth revolve around the sun in a fixed path that is called revolution of the earth the earth not only rotate it also revolve around the sun at a same time we will also learn about the leap year so what is leap year the year which has 366 days and 29 days in the month of february is called leap year next we will uh, learn about the aphelion and perihelion what is aphelion when 
the distance between sun and earth is maximum that is called aphelion and when the distance between sun and earth is minimum that is called perihelion next we will learn about the effect of revolution so what happens because of the revolution season changes that means we have different different seasons summer winter autumn spring and it happens because of the revolution of the earth and also you have noticed that the duration of day and night is not same throughout the year during the summer duration of day is longer than night and during winter duration of night is longer than day it happens because of the revolution of the earth and because of the orbit of the earth so this all new and interesting things you will learn in this chapter before we start this chapter in details let's revise one chapter 1 and chapter 2 because all these chapters are related with one another and it's very much important to understand each chapter it will help to understand the other chapters too so in the first chapter you learn about the galaxy uh, then sun earth moon asteroid meteorites comets etc in in the night sky or in the sky we can see sun moon planets stars and other objects these are called celestial bodies or heavenly bodies all the celestial or heavenly bodies are part of any galaxy and there are million of galaxies in the universe so now question is what is galaxy cluster of million of stars dust particle and dark matters together called galaxy there are three types of galaxies one is spiral galaxy elliptical galaxy and irregular galaxy our earth planet and the solar system is a part of spiral galaxy and that galaxy is known as akash ganga or milky way so next you learned about the solar system so the sun eight planets and its satellites asteroid meteorites comets together called solar system and the sun is the head of the solar system which is at the center of the system and all the planets are revolves around the sun next you learned about the sun so sun is basically a star and which is made up of very hot gases mainly helium and hydrogen it is the source of light in the solar system and the temperature of the sun is around 6000 degree celsius and the distance between earth and sun is 100 50 million kilometers next you learn about the 
planets. So, in solar system, we have eight planets, namely Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There was one more planet that is called Pluto, but now it is dwarf planet. Now, out of these eight planets, they are divided into two parts. One is inner planet and another is outer planet. So, the first four planets, which are smaller in size, closer to the sun and mainly made up of rocks, are called inner planet or terrestrial planet and the remain four planets are far from the sun they are bigger in size and made up of ice and gases they are called outer planets or gas giants so the first four planet is mercury venus earth and mars these four planets are called inner planets and remain four planets that is Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune called outer planets or gas giants. After that you learned about the earth. As you know earth is the unique planet in the solar system as because it has life and the 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water. It has favorable climate and availability of water which helps to sustain life. Each planet revolves in a fixed path around the sun and that fixed path is called orbit of that planet. Next you learned about the satellite. So what is satellite? When heavenly body revolve around the planet, they are called satellite. Suppose uh, our only satellite is moon. There are two types of satellite. One is natural satellite and another is artificial satellite example of natural satellite is moon and uh, example of artificial satellite that uh, that is aryabhatta insat 1 2 these are the artificial satellite made and launched by the humans after that you learned about the asteroid what is asteroid asteroids are the planets like object or heavenly bodies which revolve around the sun. There is an asteroid belt in between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. Next you learned about the meteoroids. The small piece of rocks which revolve around the sun are called meteoroids. Sometime they enter in the earth atmosphere and started burning they are known as shooting stars then you learned about the comets what is comet a big piece of ice which is revolving around the sun are called comets they have head and long tail one example of comet is Halley's comet which can be seen after 74 to 75 years. Then you learn about the constellation. What is constellation? A group of stars when form a particular shape that is called constellation. Example, Saptarishi, Great Beard. These are the examples of constellations. Uh, in chapter 2, you learn about the latitudes and longitudes. So, in this chapter first you learn about the globe, 
globe is a miniature version or true model of the earth then you learn about the uh, axis axis is an imaginary line on which an object rotates then you learn about the latitudes what are latitudes latitudes are imaginary horizontal line extended from east to west and they are parallel to the equator what are the features of latitudes there are 181 latitudes 90 in northern hemisphere and 90 in southern hemisphere all latitudes are full circle they do not cross each other and then they divide the earth into northern and southern hemisphere these are the features of latitudes next you learn about the important parallels of latitudes important parallels of latitudes are equator tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle and antarctic circle then you learn about the heat zone so our earth is divided into three heat zones as because all the part of our earth surface is not getting equal amount of sun rays so the zone between tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn is called torrid zone or tropics as because it receives maximum amount of heat next zone is from tropic of cancer to arctic circle and tropic of capricorn to antarctic circle are called torrid zone they receives a moderate amount of sun rays and they have moderate temperature and the next zone is the zone beyond arctic circle and antarctic circle are called frigid zone they receives very less amount of sun rays and the temperature is very low next you learn about the longitudes what are longitudes longitudes are imaginary vertical line which divide the earth into eastern and western hemisphere they extended from north pole to south pole what are the features of longitudes longitudes are semicircle uh, the distance between two longitude is not same there are 360 longitude 180 in eastern hemisphere and 180 in western hemisphere they divide the earth into eastern and western hemisphere after that you learn about the greenwich mean time so the local time on the zero degree meridian or prime meridian which passing through greenwich london is called greenwich mean time and the whole world follow greenwich mean time after that you learn about uh, indian standard time so the local time on the meridian which passing through allahabad 82 and half degree east of the prime meridian is called Indian standard time then after you learn about the international deadline so 180 degree longitude is called international deadline and when a person cross this line either gain or lose a day then you learn how to calculate the time of any particular place with the help of uh, longitudes in day 2, I will explain about the rotation of the earth and what are the effects of rotation in details.